Hello everyone, today we are going to look at the performance of Flutter and the different kind of widgets. We have here an address widget which has the method which is really complicated, a deep nested widget. And here are many things which are built. The thing is we want to look at the performance of this deep nested widget and every time we press here on set state the build method will be rendered. So this will be rebuilt and also the deep nested widget, which is here, will also be rebuilt. What we can do against it, we can actually use a stateless widget instead of a method. So never use methods to build your deep nested widgets like this, which is a performance issue. So what we are going to do is to wrap this here to a new widget, which we call profile widget. And now we take this print method here and put it in our new widget. We go here and replace our widget here. Now if we restart the whole application, so we see at the first build, the build method is builded and also the deep nested widget, which is okay. But now if we do set state again, what happens? Again, based methods are built which is not what we want to do. So every time again, the widgets are built again, even if this is stateless. So we missed some point here. The point is that we need to write here const in front of it. And now every time at the beginning, the build method is created and also deep nested widget. But now if we press the set state button, every time only the build method is being created, the one thing we can do every time we want to have a performance boost that we don't write a method for our widgets, we pass it into a separate stateless widget, which has to have a const prefix here. But if you like to go with methods instead of a stateless widget, there's also package which you can use. So you have to import this kind here, a functional widget annotation and also the dev dependencies here. And then we go to our address widget here again, and we copy everything which is here inside and call it again, widget deep nested widget and return everything. And we go here again with the method build deep nested widget. And here we have an annotation which we have to set for our method, which is called widget. And then we also need to import these both files here. Then we have here no error anymore for this add widget annotation. Another thing we need to do is to write here widget slash address widget g dot. This means generated. So we need to generate this address widget from this message here. The next thing what we do, we go to our project here in our command line, and then we run this comment here. So we want to generate our files. Now we only have to go to this address widget I see. Um, and if we run this comment, we have here this address widget g generated file. And I had to change this here to address widget without a widget before as a directory. So we only need this file in here. And what it does here, it generates for us this status widget and also this method, which it then calls, which we have declared here in our file. The method itself cannot be inside of our class here. It has to be um, outside of our class, which is really important. So we never can put it here inside currently. In this version, it doesn't work. So this wouldn't work. And now if we hot restart the application and use this deep nested widget here, which is the equivalent of this generated file here. And here we just execute this method we have written and which we have annotated here with a widget. And now if we hot restart it, the both things are created, but if we set state again, only the build method is created. So you can go with the stateless widget 
directly or you can also go with the generated status widget. It's up to you. Personally, I prefer to go without this package. So I remove it here and then we go back to our deep nested widget and replace it here. And if you ever have this problem that you have performance issues or you want to have better performance, just go here and press actions menu and then extract widget. And here I have set a control alt w or extract blotter widget. You can set it here also with alt enter and then you can set your own keyboard shortcut. So what you do is you just press the shortcut here and name your widget, profile widget. And here we replace it with a const so you don't need to generate anything. And then you have your widget here. Let's check it again that it works. So we go again here with the text build profile widget. We hot restart it again. Uh, there's an error. Okay, he doesn't know this anymore. So we will just delete it here. And if we hot restart it again, these base are built, these base widgets. And if we set state, everything works normal that we only rebuilt the build method and not this profile widget anymore. So I prefer this way. But you can also go with the generated stateless widget. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter. And see you soon, bye!